Oh, it's not like it's not like saying anything about Johanny, but about what we about what we just did. But that's okay. The dark side has cookies. That was uh. Yes, this is still the first game, Larry. But a whole lot has happened. <laughs> a lot has actually happened. Uh, the force is like the ocean. The ocean isn't inherently good or evil. It can. Oh no! Yeah, no. It's so interesting that we. The force is just like it's just itself, right? It's just. It's life and death, like, you know, chaos and order. But it's even, like, it's not even that, because that, that's still putting it into binaries, right? Where it's just, like, the Force just is. If it was, like, something just for good, only Jedi could use it. If it was something only for evil, only the Sith could use it, you know? It's what the sentient species, like, put onto the Force and, like, how they use it that determines, you know the outcomes, you know, not necessarily the force itself, more like the wills behind it, you know? So I, I do, I much prefer that, like, the, the force isn't just, um, you know, just a binary. That, 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 that like, diminishes it in a lot of ways, I think. <laughs> yeah, oh god. Oh, I did notice that. Yes, thank you. No, that, that'll that be really interesting to see. But also get the weird physical deformities. Yeah, they go to... The dark side goes too deep, too far off the deep end. Yeah. And they get really powerful, but, like, there is a side effect to it. It is, I think, sort of a corruption. I don't know if we... I don't know if... I don't know if, like, the Jedi have... Uh, like... I don't think you get, like, a physical deformity for, like, being too light side, you know? But, like, maybe it's, it's something where, like, maybe it's too blind? Maybe it's not so much a physical deformity as, like, um... You become blind to, like, the failings of... Of the light itself, you know? Which would make sense, right? Like, light, it's too bright, you get blind, right? I like where my metaphor's going right now. I like it. <laughs> So, yeah, that would that would make sense. Like instead of like a physical deformity, like which which often happens with like you know you're doing too much in the dark side or whatever, um, like you you get like yeah you get your body gets like twisted and you become almost skeletal in some ways you know, but like with the light side like you essentially just are unable to see, like, what's actually going on around you. I. I think we're, I'm going to bring Joey, just because we do still have a little bit more left. We're done with you, we're based, we haven't finished missions per se, because I just don't want to interact with her brother anymore, but these guys are good, you guys are good, okay. Oh my gosh, yes! Thank Assassin! Yeah, feel free. Like, there's also the promotion channel that you can use if you ever want to promote a video, like, on the Discord. Right, yeah. The Force is like the primal creation force of the universe. <laughs> Mortal beings are supposed to just take a dunk in that. It's like going deep sea diving out of the suit. There's water pressure, man. <laughs> You're right. No, that makes a lot of sense. Where, like, you will, like, Im literally implode if you try to go deep sea diving without, like, protective gear on. You go too deep, and you get, like... You're stuck in, like, the primal waters of creation. Like, stuff's gonna happen. Stuff's gonna get wonky. Okay. And these are actually the two I started out with when I, uh... Yes? Came here, so it makes sense. And tributes. Um... Wow, his are pretty even across the board. I guess we'll do wisdom. Uh, treat injury. Power, force armor, master valor, or uh, hmm. I'll 
I'll probably go with force armor. Right, no, exactly. Gamer, no, he's, I, I freaking, what, I love him, and I can't remember his name off the top of my head, he's my favorite character. Um, the, I am, I am one with the force, and the force is with me, type thing. And yeah, like, I think he's, he's force sensitive, he's maybe not necessarily, like, he's definitely not trained in the ways of the Jedi, I, I'm pretty sure. I think they were eradicated by that time, but like, he's, a, he's force sensitive at the very least, you know? And that order is seen as more gray, you know? It starts with a C. Oh my gosh, I freaking... Cheer it! Cheer it! I knew I'd remember it. Cheer it. Cheer it. Yeah, oh, you guys read it! You guys did it too, yeah. I am one with the force and the force is with me. He's so... He's so good! Well, I think he had, like, a mantra, right? He was, he doesn't necessarily, like, worship the Force, but, like, it was very B Buddhist, I guess, in a way, in that, like, it wasn't really worshiping an entity so much as it was, like, believing in, in, a, in a universal, like, power of sorts, you know? But no, he was, sure, it was my favorite. He was a believer, yeah. He was. That's true. Uh... Technically, Candorous is like spec to be like a melee guy, but I just have him using guns because that's what he came with. Sure, demolition. Why not? Uh. Near perfect physical conditioning. Blah, 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 blah. Sure, why not? Yeah, yeah. Master conditioning. Okie dokie. Like, there was some in the Empire who were still loyal to the Jedi. Well, and it made sense to have them there on that planet. Trying to protect the temples. Now I have to, like, after all of that, I have to come back here to Korriban and try to friggin' <laughs> get back into the swing of pretending to be a Sith. Uh... I think I'm gonna go to the Valley of the Dark Lords. I think that's what I need to do. What Karth will do now is anyone's guess because he's freaking off his rocker. We already did that. But we still have to resolve it because Candra's freaking needs to freaking. Yeah, what do you want? Oh! Candorous, if, if you need right. to talk about your feelings, let's just get it done, my guy. Like, come on. Where's the exit? Candorous doesn't know how to talk about his feelings, and that's what we have to do. We have to get him ready to talk about his feelings. I imagine the dark side causes addiction. Not only makes your force powers stronger. Where am I going? Cotton Eye Joe. Your mind and senses sharper, and then when you stop, all of it goes. Yeah, that would make sense. Excuse me, excuse me. Time to go back to the realm of the dark gods. Oh man, I gotta like. <laughs> Could you imagine if this actually, if it actually happened in this order, where I just like peace out for like a week, and like everybody's already like, 
done what they need to do and like gotten promoted and I come back and I'm like, okay, I'm ready to impress people. Also, I was captured on a Sith interdictor, so hopefully you don't have my pictures. That scared me. They lit, they lit up their lightsabers, and I was like, ah! <laughs> I want some cookies, dang it. But I'm trying to not go crazy and eat a bunch of junk food literal days before I have to go hike up and down mountains again. I've been on the treadmill like for an hour or more every day for like the last month. Is this a new cave? No. Okay. I've been on like I've been working out pretty consistently since like freaking December. But I've been doing more on the treadmill in the last like month or so. And I'm trying to not eat cookies. Uh but I want them. Forgot how nice the skies look in this game. They really do. Safe archaeologists! <laughs> we went in here, and this is where we met the crazy hermit man. Remember that? That was a long time ago. <laughs> As if Malik wouldn't send your pick to all his troops. I know, right? Back on Corybon. It's impressive considering the virus and all the game was ahead of its time. It was still looks amazing. Yeah. No. Yeah, no, I've been trying to keep up more. It's it's actually easier now that I'm stuck at home and I don't feel like um I don't know. Like I have other things to do during the day. Like I'm trying to take like free online classes and stuff. But um I don't feel like I have to, like, I don't know. I don't feel like I have to, like, do a bunch of other stuff and then leave, you know? For work or whatever. I've been trying to make the most of the fact that I... That I do get unemployment right now, or I have been until I got hired. Um... So I was trying to, like, make the most of it, you know, and not just sit around. So I'm trying to stay in shape and... At least, you know, in minimal shape, anyway. Oh my gosh, there's so many, and the whole thing is falling down on top of us. Good thing there's no friendly fire, you're darn tootin'. Friendly fire would suck. What happened? What the heck? Alright, I want to go this way this time. Oh, no. There's so many of them. was going to try to defeat us. Right. I've been really bad at making videos for YouTube. I feel like I was like, I, I always make big promises and then it never pans out. And then I feel really bad and I feel like I should just stop everything that I'm doing ever for YouTube. But then I'm like, no, it's still fun and people still watch and... But I have not been... Oh, brick. I have not been... Not been good at it. Um... But actually, I am hoping that I... Because I'm going to have all this coder footage. So I'm going to have all this coder footage and I'm going to get it edited this weekend. And then while I'm back in the field again... I'm gonna hopefully have a more regular upload schedule. Woohoo! I 
Um, inside hermit tomb. Wake up around 6 a.m. and start making videos. Yeah, 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 that's awesome. I've been waking up at 7.30. 6 a.m. is a little bit much for me, but 7.30 is doable. Maybe I'll have... What, what's my... Oh, boy. Um, what's my... Oh. I think Candorous might be... Well, no, technically I have a bonus. Although if I give him whatever is giving me the bonus... I'm here. Which is probably my headgear. Nope, it's not. Alright, I don't know. It's fine. I technically have a six and he has a five. Have I seen most of the optional conversations between companions? I've seen most of... Oh, great. Probably not, honestly. Like, for real. Now get it. I've seen several with Karth, Jolie, and Candras. I bring them out a lot. But it feels like I don't, I haven't had one in a long time, and that's probably because I, I have been bringing these two out a lot. Let's see what you got. You're dead. Well, nice. No, sorry you couldn't sleep so well, assassin. But at least you know, you're able to be productive, which is nice. You know. <laughs> I was gonna sleep in for half an hour today. And then I woke my dog up panicking because I couldn't find him. And when I can't find him, I think he's dead. And because I'm always afraid he's gotten into something. So I was like, Sparky! I was like yelling for my dog. Turns out I had glanced under my bed, but apparently he had like really shoved himself back there. And he was under the bed. And then he was wide awake because I was panicking and, like, being really loud. And so he was awake and I was like, well, I'm not going back to sleep. <laughs> Jolie and Karth's? Uh, I've had a couple Jolie and Karth. Because Karth was like, um, they were talking about how... How Jolie is like, hey man, like, you're a little bit too, like, bushy, not, not like bushy-eyed, but like a little bit naive, whereas, whereas, uh, Jolie is like, you know, you can't just break things down into good and evil like you do, you know, like, you know, a war's a war, it doesn't really matter, like, in the end, like, with who is fighting and what for it's like people are still gonna get hurt and like war is still gonna be like a vicious cycle you know I, it was something like that it was interesting i i don't know if their conversation would have continued on but it was probably one of my one of my favorites now that you bring it up where it's just like really like kind of subverting expectations you know mm -hmm. Like, at least showing that, like, Karth's point of view is, even if Karth is, like, very for the Republic and, like, tries to be a good man, like, there, it, it's still a one-sided point of view, you know? Like, there's, it, war isn't just, like, a one-sided point of view kind of thing, you know? It's, I know, my dog means stressed Well, he wasn't stressed out. He was, like, he's, like, oh, are we gonna, like, go outside and go to the bathroom? Like, he was, like, all ready to go, like, outside, go pee. Because I usually take him out for, like, a half an hour, and I'll just, like, read a book or chill out, listen to music, and, like, drink a soda or something while he's wandering around in the backyard. So he was ready to, like, go outside and be like, yeah! And I was like, <gasps> I was the one stressing out. I was like, oh, my gosh. I thought you were dead. <laughs> uh, open the door. Gimme! Hurry up! Alright, here. Oh, wait, I'll actually. I'm gonna 
save here, so I just don't have to deal with all that again. Because last time, it shot us out back outside the tomb and made us go through everything again. I think technically the armor he's got on is Mandalorian armor. Yeah, he's technically already got Mandalorian body armor. Uh, ooh, does he want this one? Nope. Mm, nope. Nope. Send it. Alright, we good. We Gucci. You can tell what what it is or what? <laughs> Another idiotic yep. has stumbled into my little I did, place. I certainly did. Well, the contact nerve toxin in the air should knock you out quickly enough. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna fast forward a little because I've already been through this. Awake already, are yep. you? Uh huh. Good. Eh, okay, who are you? Who are you? Oh yeah, this other student. <laughs> no, the old hermit in hiding. What? Oh, anyhow, most of the. Uh, uh, yes, yes. He's You're cruel, well. but he doesn't have the guts. <gasps> oh, this is different. Oh my gosh, this is different. That's really cute, assassin. That you every day after school you would turn on the Xbox and play Coder. Oh my gosh. It was come home from when you're an adult and play the Dragon Age. Oh, that's so nice. Like, it's so nice. Oh, okay, lately, I know I haven't really had to, like, go out to work and come back or anything, but I've been playing a ton of Divinity 2. Oh, I came out of my animation. I'm fine. It's fine. I'm not actually passed out or anything. <laughs> I'm not contagious with nerve toxin. But yeah, I've been I've been playing a ton of Divinity Sin Original or Divinity Sin Original 2. It's fine. I know game titles, but I've been enjoying the heck out of it. I've got a really awesome romance going. So good. Ah! Makes my heart flutter every time. What if I told you I was Darth Revan? <laughs> yeah. Then I figured he wouldn't you believe me. An imagination. Not a bad thing. But not quite what I'm looking for in a proper sit. Uh, uh, if I pass you, Jess. My sit, they're based on all I've learned. Uh, go ahead, do your worst. No, no, is that any kind? So then, this is how it goes. Miko here is a bit weak. He probably won't be able I don't know what you think uh -huh. of Miko. Uh -huh. What if Miko does? Did you win? Well, then. Now, now, dear lad. Do you really yeah. think that how many correctly answered? On that note, now then. Your immediate superior amongst the Sith is an effective commander and a fine leader. He trusts. Ooh, I'm probably going to answer uh, wrongly. Uh, and take the damage. Oh, I'm back in the, my animation where I'm, my eyeballs are in the back of my head. Um. Oh yeah, still playing Dragon Age and Mass Effect for sure. I, yeah, I mean, I just finished Mass Effect 1, like, a week ago. I don't know that he's a fine leader. Incorrect. What sort of thinking is that? If all the Sith thought as you did, we would all Hey, there's Jolie! <laughs> ah, well, I don't know if I saw them before, time my friends. Punishment. Time for your punishment! And so we come to round two. You come across what a... What do you do? I accept the reward and the system. So you've made a profit, and now you have some sniveling... At any rate... He... <laughs> yes. Ah, yes. You discover I share it. You gained an advantage and you share it freely? 
Let them rip the secret from my dead hands, I say. Ooh, just reinstalled Oblivion in Skyrim? Oh my gosh, Larry. It's for your own good. Every now and then, especially when I listen to Skyrim music. Still going? I really want to reinstall it. Or One of your play it again. Has made a major mistake. I give him another chance. Another chance to make you look poor to your superiors? To make it look like you are weak and deserving of attack? No, 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 no. Think again. Hmm. Ooh, Nothing Assassin, that's good time. news. Oh, well. Here's your reward. Last question. You're about to die. Do you pass a... I won't give you the satisfaction of an answer. I know this guy's voice, and I'm even fast-forwarding some because we've actually been through this already, like a while ago. Anyway, I'm sorry. I get distracted. Huh. Skyrim's so good. I get these days. You deserve this, and then some. I'll enjoy this one. Time for your medicine. Time for your medicine. That screams annoying too. The test is over, and you're both still alive. Well, that's not, I suppose this means you. Or well, I could use the force to free them. And we can kill and we you. Can kill you. Seems you didn't think of that, old man. What? Yesterday. Behave, students. I'll. That's it. Detention for all of you. Permanent detention. Yeah, the airspace plays Skyrim again. That somehow playing it just takes up a lot of mental energy. Well, there's like so much to do in that game, honestly. Like. Oh wait, I should. Yeah. Okay. Um. Oh, and I will actually also wait, 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 wait. I want to put um. Oh, and let's. Everybody do one. What? That'll show you. Oh, he has force resistance on. That'll show you. Oh my gosh, this is going so much better than last time. I guess he wasn't a true Sith. Ha 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 ha! Ha 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 You saved me. You could have easily just answered those questions and let me die. I need to help fighting Jark. <laughs> I just saved you for last. Oh, I'll be like, uh, yeah, well, don't let it go to your head. Well, you can have those writings he mentioned. I won't fight you for them. Master Uthar will be very pleased if you give them to him, you know. I'll head back to the academy. I need some rest. I did it. Oh, my phone's ringing. Hush, phone. I have no time for you. Hopefully it's not important. Um, right, the multiplayer stuff. Oh, interesting! Game's <laughs> past. <laughs> you got Skyrim as a constellation instead of Diablo 3. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. And you opened that game and your life was changed forever. Huh, <sighs> ancient Sith tablet. Whoa. That was way easier this to end. Probably helped that I use the battle stimulants. I am gonna up my persuade again, because I don't think I need to worry about repair anymore. Just persuade. And then I'm gonna... Gotta get protection. Or... <gasps> I don't have choke! I'm de I'm definitely gonna get force choke. <laughs> it would be smarter to get another ability, but I I wanted force choke. Nope, not like it. I wanted force choke. No, Ray. I wanted force choke <laughs> because I want to be Darth Vader. <laughs> Damn you! <laughs> Damn you with your free will. <laughs> Oh, I did it. I didn't think I would. Clay urn. 
I feel like I feel like now I feel like Sith ghosts are gonna pop out of these urns and and possess me. Even though I think that probably oh. already kind of happened. Even yeah. though that seems kind of cheating. Like, oh, I got possessed and I had no choice, blah, blah, blah. Because it still implies, like, a weakness of faith, sort of. Like, a weakness of, um... Of your Done. your light sidedness, you know? Which I don't think is necessarily the case. I think maybe what happened is, like, even if, like, you do kind of get possessed... Oh, dang! Oh, dang! We got... Oh, dang! I did not realize it was like that. Um, Even if you get kind of possessed, like, I think the fact that, like... Potentially a force ghost could just like whisper into your ear and like sort of overwhelm you over time and like maybe like brainwash you sort of into thinking like to become a dark side person like oh it's for the best like it'll help more people in the end blah 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 that sort of thing instead of just like taking away your free will entirely. Dun 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 dun. On it. The shit sarcophagus. Yeah. What is he dead? <gasps> Tulak Horde's mask. Whoa. Whoa, we got a cool thing. Hang on. Let's see. What does he do? Mm. <gasps> what? No! <laughs> no. I'm too much of a goody two-shoes. Has an eerie glow and seems uncomfortably claustrophobic. No. Well, at least I've got it. I, I collected the Sith artifact and that's pretty cool. Wait, what? Oh, I technically didn't walk through this portion of it, I guess. I was like, why is it? Why is the map still dark here? Loot the other two. What other? What other two? Like, I mean, I'm going to. Like, there's no other like tombs in here or like sarcophagi in here. Are you, are you crazy? Are you crazy, Ray? Do you think I'm honestly not gonna go through every single Sith tomb with the freaking fine tooth comb? This is this is my jam. This is what I've been looking forward to the whole game. Is coming here and playing in the Valley of the, the Dark Lords. Like, the Death Lords, whatever. <laughs> oh my gosh, you think, as an archaeologist, I am offended that you think I wouldn't go through these tombs. Unfortunately, I have to loot them, which is a little sad. <laughs> but. Because that's not how you do proper archaeology. 